Alright, hey guys. Um, so yeah, this is my noughts and crosses with uh, logic in it. Uh, sorry for the darkness, but I wanted to make it so you can play it anytime. Okay, so just a couple of showing around. Um, we've got the normal board. Um, it is two controlled sides. I didn't want to do one. Um, we've got here to show you whose goal it is. So I'll just play a little game here to show you that it actually works. So it appears down there, and that goes off, and that one goes on. Um, I'll just show you that it actually does have logic and then it will work. Okay, so I'm going to try and play an X here and see what happens. See, nothing happens and it still might go. But as soon as I play over there, it's going to be straight away. See, goes up, flips off. Okay, all working. So I'll just play a little game and show that it actually does count as a win. Show what happens when you win. And now watch this. Okay, that won't appear because redstone lags on fraps. But da da, look at that. And that that'll reset. Reset. Um, and also X is always first go no matter what. Okay. Um, both sides do have logic in them, so I'll just show you this, just show what happens when you Okay, there's only one flaw, if you push both buttons extremely quickly, like this, it will take two goes, and it should reset. Oh, yeah, see, both went up. So, like right there. So yeah, that's the only problem, so I'll just Go through there. And no, you won't actually probably want to say can't because it's see. So it resets. It's gone to two. Okay. Um, both sides work. To show you that. Um, every possible winning outcome is in the decoder that I have built. Um, the decoder is built to be fast. It could be faster. Um, it's not the most speedy thing in the world. But it, it works. Um, everything on the circuit is not yet built to go as fast as it can. I haven't actually done that yet. It'd be quite easily done, really. But I haven't done that. Because I just wanted to get this up on the web to show people that logic can be done. So here you go. So it automatically wins. You get one come up. Okay, now to show you the best thing with this design. Okay, so I'll start filling the board again. Okay, once again, it's usually a lot quicker than this, but Fraps does slow down redstone updating. So, um, you push the button, it usually takes about 1.2 seconds. I think there's around 12 ticks in the whole cycle to actually get here, if I remember correctly. It looks like X is going to win. Of course that happens. Alright, so it does count up to 3. So I'll just reset. That'll go up to 3. That'll close down. So I'll try it again and see if I can get it right this time. Sorry for the lag, guys. I'm on my laptop. Okay, so 
once again we push this button it'll appear it'll reset and we'll show what happens so it just it just closes no one wants so it just resets completely no one actually gets a point okay so I'll just put, push the reset here so you guys can see how that works and I'll show you this so that'll go off go over here and the reset is two player so player one only player two says yes player two player one says yes it'll reset completely you see that goes back on all the points disappear and the board completely resets okay so now to show you how this works we have the bus here which comes down here I'll just sleep so you guys can see what's happening. Sorry about this. Okay. So once again, bus comes down here, then splits up. There's nine paths. Okay. Comes down here to this little nifty contraption, which has this is all the logic right here. Like just here. This is everything you're gonna need to do this. Okay. There's an RS null latcher right here, as you can see. Okay, then we've got the lock. Okay, so I'll just go over here. I'll play that far one, so you can see how oh, that works. Push that one there. Okay. Oh. Okay, I didn't play this. play this one here. Okay, so, so this is going on. Okay, that's locked now. Now if we come down here. Okay, it's also sent a signal, okay, which locks off the input. See how that torch one's not going to go off anymore? And this is the input, so it actually can't into the RS null latch anymore. Okay, so we follow this line here. We'll actually see that it also goes to the other side, and that's how I did the logic for, um, for like playing over each other. And this here is whose goal it is. Okay, so if you fly over here, we'll see that it's actually X's goal again. So all these torches are off, so these are on. Okay, so they can't put any inputs at all. Okay, then it turns off these, which head up this just nasty looking bit of wire, and it'll head up and turn off the main torch, which is this one here. So there should be an arrow there. Okay. So that's that, okay? Then when it also sends a signal out, it turns this torch on here, which then goes down underground, okay? Which then goes down here, switches off, it gets inverted to switch off this here, which will turn that one on, and then send the signal both ways, okay? Now, it also turns off this torch here, okay? And then when all these torches off, this line will go off, alright? It'll then send a signal both ways through a um, monostable circuit send a pulse through this time through this end gate and then go to these reset switches here so as you can see they're underneath the RS null latch and it'll just turn that signal on and then lock it uh, and that's really basically all the logic apart from the fact that we've got an RS null latch here to say whose goal it is so that's whose goal it is, and then that just sends a line down underneath here. Um, one gets inverted, one doesn't, and then it just it sends a pulse up, up this swirling line of tower, and up there and to these. Okay, right now onto other things. Okay, this is the decoder for who wins. Right, this, the signal gets sent out here and up there and also gets split and set down here which is also the reset okay so there's an RS null latch here coming from that decoder and that decoder over there and it'll set off and go like that it's not needed but it just helps in case the reset doesn't go out properly and comes up here mono stable and then this is the counter for um for these okay um I'll just steal a torch from here so I can show you how it works. Whoops. Torch. 
Okay. So it's RS no latches, three of them in a row. There's all like RS no latches off, so it's locking the other one so that one can't switch. It changes position to on to off. Well, yeah, on to off. Okay, but this one isn't locked. Okay, so if I send a pulse down here, you'll see that it'll actually change. So these torches will go off, but only one of these should go on. Okay, so see, one goes on, it's changed. Okay. That turns off, so this one can turn on. Okay, they're delayed, so the pulse from the mono stable won't let it to. Okay, so there you go. Like that. Okay. Then once again like that. And I'll just and then, as you can see, it's on three now. Now how that works is when this one turns on, it sends the, the signal up to the three. Okay. It also sends another one Oops, I'll that again. I'll that. okay it sends one to this one to turn it off and then another one to turn this one off okay so if I I'll just show you what happens when I get rid of this torch here and this torch here I'll just grab those back okay as you can see the three and the two are on okay now the reason that, that this one is not is because it's also getting the same signal from the two to turn it off okay so I'll just remove that wire there, and as you can see, once again, they're all on, okay? And I'll just reset it again. Um, and the reset signal comes from there and turns all those off. I'll just show you that now. So, as you can see, all off, okay? Um, apart from that, this is a really simple, you know, crosses with logic, um, from, from videos that I've seen, it's probably the most uncomplicated thing there is apart from all this here as you can see that is not necessary okay it's just for the the doors that I've got here um but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed it um I might put up a download link if I find out how to because this is my actually my first YouTube video I've actually ever done so I have no idea what I'm doing so once again the reset works Okay, that's reset it as well. So um, I'll put up another video or a tutorial on that massive wiring over here, so you guys understand and you can build it yourself. Okay, um, so if you want a tutorial, um, just put a comment down and I'll do it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.